Today, we'll learn how to use this slide switch with Tinkercad instead of a push button switch that we learned about in Tinkercad number two of my videos. Let's go take a look at that real quick. Here's a video I did using a push button switch. A push button switch is a momentary switch where if you push that switch, it will engage the circuit, but only as long as you hold it down. As soon as you let go of the button, the circuit is broken and the LED goes off. In a slide switch scenario, you've got a slide here that if you physically move that or slide it to a different spot, it will stay fixed in that spot. And then you can use that to keep your circuit constantly on or constantly off. And I'm going to explain the three terminals on the slide switch later on in the video. So right now it's showing it constantly on. And if I click on that, it will slide the mechanism to a different position, breaking the electronic circuit and turning off the LED. And I don't have to hold that like I do a button. And that's the big difference between a button and a slide switch. One's momentary and one can be permanent. So the slide switch is great if you want to turn the power off to a circuit. For instance, uh, you're done for the day, you're going home, uh, you want to turn everything off, you can use a slide switch to turn the power off permanently until you come back the next day and slide the switch the other way and turn the power back on again. So a slide switch acts very much like a light switch in your house. Uh, the wall switch, if you flip it up, you turn on the light. If you flip it down, you turn off the light. Same thing with a slide switch. So it's pretty simple, let's build it. Let me get rid of this and we'll put it together real quick. So I'll stop the simulation, hold on my shift key and drag across everything, hit my delete key and off it goes. So to build this circuit, I'm going to make sure that I've got basic components chosen here and I've got switch right now, I'm gonna get rid of that so I get my basic components back. And I want, first of all, a power supply. So I'm going to choose a 9-volt battery. And I'm going to tap R on my keyboard to rotate that a couple of times. And then I want to get a resistor. And I want to get an LED. And then I want to get the slide switch. So I'm going to click on the slide switch to select it. Tap R on my keyboard to rotate it. Or you can go up here to the rotate button and click that a bunch of times. So how did I have that? I had that like this, I think, and then I have the negative side of the LED. So I'm going to tap that and rotate that a bunch of times. I know that the cathode is the negative side of the LED. So I want that close to the negative battery terminal. The resistor does not have polarity, so you could put that any way you want. And the switch does not have polarity, so you can put that any way you want. So let's get this LED kind of lined up here and let's move this stuff over. I'm just going to click and hold and drag my pictures over. If you click and hold on an object, you'll drag that object. If you click and hold anywhere not on an object, you can drag everything around. And if you roll your mouse button, you can roll uh, smaller or roll larger. Okay, so let's draw, uh, click and uh, draw a wire to the middle terminal of the switch, and I'll explain these terminals in a minute. And then I'm going to run a wire to the negative terminal of the LED. So this is an effect connecting the negative terminal or the cathode of the LED to the negative terminal of the battery. I'm just doing it through a switch. And then I'm going to connect this side of the LED to the resistor, and then from the other side of the resistor over here to the positive terminal of the battery. And then I like to clean up my leads a little bit here. So I'm going to just drag this around a little and see how close I can get to getting this make me happy or happier. And I'm going to click and hold on the LED a little bit. And let's see, I guess I'm going to click and hold on this a little bit. And I guess I'll bring the LED over and the resistor over there. I'm much happier now. Okay, so... Let's start the simulation. Uh, actually, I'm going to read. I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to double click here to put another point on. I wanted to make it clear which terminal I'm connected to here. Tap S on my keyboard to start the simulation. And you can see that we've got the slide switch in the up position. So it's making a circuit. It's actually making a connection internal to the switch 
this slide uh, has got some metal attached to it and these terminals are metal and so when the switch is here it's putting a piece of metal it's actually touching the metal to this terminal and touching the metal to this terminal so these two terminals are shorted together making a good electrical connection so the electricity can flow straight from the negative terminal of the battery straight into the LED. And now notice this terminal I haven't used at all and I don't need to but I could attach something else instead of having the slide switch just being a straight on off I could have it turn on one LED when the switch is up and I could have it turn on another LED when the switch is down. Let's try that just for fun. Let's bring in another resistor and let's bring in another LED and let's change the color of this LED to green and let's connect that. So we're going to have the negative go through this terminal instead of through this terminal when we flip the switch. So I'm going to make a wire here and that's going to be the negative of the battery going to go to, I need to go to the cathode of the LED and then the cathode uh, from the cathode through the LED out the anode and that's going to go into the resistor and then the resistor is going to go to the positive terminal. Now I can bring this all the way down to this positive terminal down here or I can connect it right here. It's the same thing because it's connected through this wire down to the positive terminal. So I've got a pretty sorry looking set of wires here. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit just to make me a little happier. And you can see the horizontal and vertical that uh, Tinkercad draws in to let you know if you've got it exactly vertical and exactly horizontal. Okay, and let's clean this up a little bit. And let's clean this up a little bit. All right, good enough. Notice when we start the simulation, I'll go up here and click on Start Simulation. Notice now with the slide switch in the upper position, it's making the circuit from the negative terminal through the switch to the LED, turning the LED on. And of course, from through the LED, through the resistor, back to the positive, whoops, back to the positive terminal. Now, if I flip the switch, if all goes well, this one should go out and this one should turn on. Let's see what happens. Yay. So now from the negative terminal of the battery through the switch this way, through this wire into the LED, through the LED, to the resistor, through the resistor, back to the positive terminal of the battery. So now I can't turn the circuit off completely because either the green LED or the red LED will be lit. So that's the difference between using all three of these terminals or just using two of them. This is bugging me. I got to pull this down. Oops, I got to stop the simulation first. Now I can pull this down. There we go. That's better. So there is how to use your slide switch to either turn a circuit completely on and completely off or to use it to vary between two different circuits, one being active and the other inactive, and then flipping the switch to reverse that. If this video did anything for you, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified next time I upload a video, be sure and click that subscribe button. See you in the next video.